In truth, the hundred years of the ANC only symbolize a triumph over oppression and apartheid, which is effectively the first phase of the struggle. The road is still long in the struggle to achieve a fully prosperous and just society. Such a plight is told by the continuing racial and class divides where a few have access to world-class infrastructure, education, health care and socio-economic opportunities to realize their true potential. Thus, the success of the next hundred years of the ANC will be judged on our ability to raise a new generation of South Africans that have equal access to opportunities and development resources to build a prosperous nation. It requires that we establish a youth development regime that is focused on breaking the cycle of poverty through education and training opportunities to enable them to engage in meaningful economic activities. The ANC therefore needs to continue acting in a manner that upholds its history and prestige while at the same time taking active steps to renew itself. The key tasks that face the ANC going forward entail continuing to pursue policies that seek to transform apartheid relations of production with emphasis on bettering the lives of the poor and the vulnerable. On this account, the ANC is aware that as it continues to fight poverty, unemployment, and social inequalities, it is doing so under historically given economic conditions over which it has little control. Among others, the ANC must studiously avoid substituting itself and its leaders for the people. Instead, it must be a vehicle of the people's aspirations. As a leading social force aiming to exterminate social conditions that breed under development, the African National Congress cadership must remain vigilant lest they be sucked into the vortex of the socio-economic system which defines our era. It is a social system that puts individualism and greed above all else and goes against the grain of the ideals of a human society. This, of course, is the story of our past. As they say, the past we inherit, the future we create. And I thank you for your attention.